Today's video is going to be another unbagging. I don't get to do these often, so when I get something, I, I go crazy here. So this is from uh, Gunfather Milsim, so, or Unsavory Teas is the site that sells all this stuff. And I just want to make sure. Thanks, Day, uh, Don. I hope you like this sling, and it's from Rob. And I actually got my patch, uh, nice black with purple. I'm going to put that on the patch wall. And here is my MK3 sling. Now, most of you will say, what do you need an MK3 sling for? Well, I need a two-point sling for my sniper rifle. And I figure, if I'm going to buy it, I might as well buy it. It's a short... Uh, Scout sniper rifle, which I'm going to bring down and put on the table in a minute. Uh, so I figure, might as well get the sling and try it out for that. I can also try it on my uh, sh gas shotgun, HPA shotgun. And if I have to, I can try it on my uh, HPA pistol. So without further ado, I'm going to go grab the sniper rifle, bring it down here on the bench, and we'll go from there. Okay, now this is my Elite Force um, Striker Scout Sniper Rifle. Now, it does have a sling point that I put on the front. It actually gave you a pin, and I put one of these swivel things on the front, and it has two sling points. It has dirty, thrown it around in the mud. Uh, it has a sling point on the side here. Uh, which you can reverse and put on this side, and it has a sling mount on the top. It does have this loop thing where you can put it on your shoulder, but I'm leaving it at the top. And uh, with this particular rifle, it's under 400 with two O's. Uh, it's meant to be a CQB sniper rifle. Uh, very accurate, really flies out there since I've done the work internally on it. Uh, that's why I put the red dot on there, because I figured, you know, it's just enough for me. Plus, I put this high riser on for when I'm on my mask. It works like a champ. Um, as far as uh, the sling goes, I am going to back the camera up, and or back me up and face another way, and show you how I'm using the sling and what I can do with it. Matter of fact, I am going to take off the barrel cover because... No mag in it, and I have actually fired this already, so there's no BBs in the chamber. So I will stand up, and you can get a better look at what the sling looks like. Okay, what you're going to see, here's a sling. Now, I actually have the bungee part in the front, and I have the, like, flat parts here uh, so that they're laying a particular way, which I don't have right. Let me get this right. Just one, one set up. There you go. Now, what I'm going to do, and as a sniper, like, I'm probably not going to be using a sling that often, but it's hanging on my body. So when I'm walking, hands are free, I can even draw my pistol, whatever. The thing with this, though, is if I bring up, I actually have able to shoot, get my mag, put in the gun. Bang slam, Bob's your uncle, take the mag out, boom, you know? So, and I can drop and pull my pistol. Now, I don't have a pistol on, of course, but this hangs perfectly. And I know some of you will say, oh, you don't have the bungee in the right spot. Well, I don't need it to, like, bounce. I need it to go all over my shoulder, and this rolled edge on this uh, material is perfect. And it has just enough grab down here, and if it... You know pushes out a little bit I hook it on something it's not going to hurt me plus this does have the ability to move it and I can also just drop it and it slings away or sling in front of me I think it's laying perfectly for this particular application it is a real short weapon so it works great we're gonna go back to the bench now and continue from there Funny thing, I have the ring light, I have new lighting overhead, 
and I didn't put it on for the first part of the video, but I ain't going to worry about it. So this is the MK3 version of the sling. I probably could have got the M2K or MK2 version. This has the nice uh, metal pull on it, and it does work decently. I did tighten it up against myself and things like that, but it works perfect as for my sniper rifle. Now, I can test it on my uh, shotgun. That has a dual sling as well. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to, but this is a good snag from uh, Gunfather Mill Sim. So if you get a chance to grab one of these, I would. Uh, thanks to Rob out there for sending the patch, going on my patch wall. And I'm going to do a close-up picture of the patch and of the sling. As always, guys, uh, have a good day and thanks for watching. Change it up a little bit there. Um, this is a shotgun, uh, three six shot HPA shotgun Jag Arms. I did put the front slink loop on this, and it has this big lock on the back. And I opted to have it so the spongies, uh, the bungees here, and it's good. It's hanging free. I don't normally have a pistol when I'm using this, uh, but I might carry one, have it on the side. This way, if I got this up and I'm using, and this is a not a like a finesse weapon. This is like. And you're firing, okay? Uh, got free range of motion, and I can drop it, and it's right there. I can still maintain it and fire it, right? Uh, I don't. I have a one. I have the original uh, uh, sling for this, an MK1, and I'm thinking I might still work work with that because that is a single point, and then the gun hangs here. But if I do want to go with a double point or double point sling. This actually is not too bad. It hangs in the right spot, plus I have my little air line to my air tank here. Perfect spot. Don't have to go far, and it's hanging well. So I can either go one point or two point with this, and I can actually switch this up to be a single point. But I'm really leaning toward leaving it on my sniper rifle. So this is a look at the, the shotgun I told you I was going to. So.